Hello and welcome to this lecture. So in the previous lectures we learned about the different test bench components and how the test bench components are built and connected together etc. Now in this lecture we will learn, we'll take a more closer look at what are simulation phases and why do we need simulation phases in say a methodology like OVM or UVM and what are some of the simulation phases that are defined by the standard methodologies like say OVM or UVM. So as we learned, uh, the OVM or UVM verification methodology uses system error classes to build all your test bench components. And unlike a static world of using modules for building test benches, when you use classes, you need to actually manage the environment creation and configuration, etc., during runtime. So typically, if you were to see any test execution, you can think of uh, dividing the whole test execution into certain phases. And what those phases will consist consist in general are like how the test benches is created, which is the build part of the test bench, how the different test benches are configured, what are the different parameters that you will configure. And then once you configure and build all the test bench components, and how do you connect all these test bench components together? And then once you connect all these test bench components together, you need to know like during the actual simulation or test run what really advances uh, simulation time. Uh, so what it means is like what all kind of BF BFMs will be active, what all stimulus generators will be active and what, what those will be driving to the actual DUT pins etc. And once your test is done with driving all the stimulus as per your test intent, then you enter a phase where you do set of checks before the test finish. So this can typically include all the end of test checks for checking against all the expected results as per the test intent. Some of them could be like checking for certain expected uh, memory content or checking for queue sizes or five first to be empty or checking for the credits to be empty, etc. So these are typically how a test execution can be divided in generally. So if you were to retrade, then simulation phases are those uh, phases which kind of perform certain unique tasks. So as we saw, some of the unique tasks like setup activities are performed during the test bench creation, whereas uh, checking for say expected results can be addressed in the check phase, which will be towards the end of test phase. And another point to note is like all these phases run strictly in order, that means every test bench component will execute a specific phase before the next phase begins. So any phase will not begin until the previous phase is complete. Now with that we'll understand what is OVM or UVM's defined simulation phases. So as OVM and UVM the methodology provides is, uh, is meant for a standard methodology uh, it also defines a set of standard phases which will enable all the verification IPs or components to be uh, plug and play which is kind of the basis uh, for reusability and modularity. So if every component follows these standard phases as defined by the methodology then it will be easier for these components to be plugged and played in any OVM or UVM compatible environments. So what simulation phases are defined by OVM and UVM? It's broadly divided as three phases. One is all the build phases, which is the initial set of phases where, where the test bench components will be built and connected. And then you have a set of run phases, which actually advances the simulation time. And then towards the end, you have a set of cleanup phases, which looks for most of the end of test uh, results comparison. So build phases, what it does is like basically it builds all the top level test bench topology. It connects all the environment topology, basically connects all the agents, components, drivers, sequencers, etc. And then you can also do, once you build and connect, you can also do certain things maybe in the post elaboration phase. One example could be like you print all the topology of how the test bench looks like. So all of these kind of uh, tasks are performed in the build phase. And what run phase does is like once you have all your test bench components built and configured and once you're ready to actually execute the runtime part of the test, then that's when the run phase starts executing. And a point to note is like all the phases except run phase execute in zero time. So once the simulation starts, 
when it first executes the build and connect phases it really executes it really builds all the components in zero time and connects them all together configures them all together and then once the run phase start you actually start consuming zero uh, consuming simulation time so so all the real simulation activity like stimulus generation uh, driving to the DUT, the following the actual DUT interface protocol, collecting responses, etc., all happens in the run phase. And the run phase is further divided into a lot of sub phases, both in OVM and UVM. A lot of times, most of them are not really used. Unless you have a specific need, those may not be really useful. Uh, all you need is the basic run phase or the main phase in UVM. And once you're done with all the run phases, then your actual simulation is kind of getting done. And then you enter the last phase, which is basically the cleanup phases. So in the cleanup phases, what uh, you will do generally is like you will gather all the details about the final DUT state after all the stimulus has kind of driven the DUT. And then you just do all the processing and checking from the simulation results based on what results you collected from the DUT or based on whatever scoreboards you have, etc. And then you can also analyze the simulation results, do, do any kind of reporting, etc. in this set of phases before the test really ends. So those are the three basic, uh, sim basic uh, phases in terms of simulation. One is the build phase, which does all the initial build, connect, configuration or test bench. Then it's the run phases, which actually runs your stimulus and actually advance your time and then collects responses from the DUT as simulation advances and then you end up end in a cleanup phase where you do all the end of test related checks. So this diagram shows in detail about specifically the, all the UVM phases. So you can see it's broadly divided as three, cat, three phases as I told the build phases, the run phases and the cleanup phases. In the build phases you further classify those as build phase connect phase, end of elaboration and start of simulation phase. Of which mostly the build and connect phase are most commonly used. The build phase is used where you actually call the constructor or use the factory to create objects. And then once you create all the objects, then everybody enters the connect phase, all the components enter connect phase and that's when you connect all these components together, pass all the interface handles or any configuration objects to different components, etc. And then you can specifically, if there are any tasks that you want to do after the build and connect phase, but before the simulation phase, there are two phases, end of elaboration and start of simulation that can be used. And then once you start the run phase, that's when most of your simulation time is consumed. Uh, it's further classified into a lot of subsets and a lot of them may not be used most of the time. So you have a pre-reset phase where if you want to uh, do anything specific, any setups before the reset is asserted, you can have a pre-reset phase in all your components and do whatever you want. You'll have a reset phase where you want to specifically do something related to reset, then there is a post-reset phase, and then there is pre-configured, configured, and post-configured phases needed for any kind of configurations that you want to do uh, just before the simulation starts. And then there is this main phase, which is what will what where you will start all your stimulus generators and run all your sequences on drivers etc and there are also pre and post phases that you can do if you want any specific components to set up anything before the actual run happens and then once it's done you also have a set of shutdown uh, along with the pre and post phases again not very commonly used and then you will enter the cleanup phases where you can extract all the information from your simulation then there is a check phase where you can actually do all the checking later to what are the expected results etc and then you can also have a report and a final stage where you can report out results or any performance monitoring activities or any kind of activities that you want to report as an end of test and then you can also have whatever you want to do in a final final phase just before the test ends so that's how broadly the phases are defined uh, broadly, you'll be using the build phase and connect phase and the main phase and the run as well as the check and report phases. Most of the other sub phases are just for understanding and then if you have any specific needs, then you can kind of go into more details and then implement those specifically. 
So these are the random sums of random faces. I will just quickly walk through, and I think most of these may not be really useful. It will be mostly useful. The main face and the run is all probably is like more useful. Uh, so start of stimulation occurs just before the time consuming part of stimulus happens. Then you have pre-reset phase. I'll just ignore the run. It's actually in the OVM world. The UVM doesn't have a run. It's actually the main phase as I showed in this previous diagram. The pre-reset, the purpose is to take care of any activities that you should uh, do before the reset. For example, if you want to wait for a certain power good signal to go high before you actually reset, then you can actually put this kind of restriction in the pre-reset phase. Then the reset phase, you do anything specifically needed for the DUT or interface, any specific reset behaviors. And the post-reset typically is intended for any activity required immediately following the reset. Pre-configure anything intended for that uh, for preparing the DUT configuration soon after reset is complete and before you actually start your configuration process. The configuration is where you program the DUTs, memories, any register programmings or any memory preloads and all that kind of things you can do in the configure phase. And again, post-configure is something where you want the configuration to happen, wait for the effects of configuration to propagate to the DUT and then do certain actions. The pre-main main, pre -main is the main phase prior to the main to ensure that, say, all the required components are ready to start generating stimulus, which happens in the main phase. So main phase is the most important, which you will be mostly using to start your sequencers or stimulus generators. So this was the stimulus specified by test case will be actually apply to the DUT and the main phase will really consume time because your DUT interface protocols, the design interface protocols all are time consuming and you will also, based on how many transactions or sequence items you need to drive, it will also kind of consume a lot of time. So this is where all the stimulus gets exhausted. And once the stimulus time, time consuming part of stimulus is over, you can do any finalization in of the main phase. And then if you want to do anything prior to shutdown, so you can do any in this pre-shutdown phase for, and the shutdown phase is used to make sure the stimulus generator has propagated DUT and that all resultant data is drained away. So basically, if you want to make sure like all stimulus are driven and then everything is drained out before you actually end the test, you can do something in the shutdown phase. And again, post-shutdown is not very commonly used, but you can, if you want to perform anything final activities, in the part of the simulation phase, you can do it in the post simulation phase. And similarly, there are check phases. As I mentioned, check phases, mostly the check and the report are useful for any kind of end of test checking as well as reporting. So that's pretty much in the simulation phases part of the lecture. And just to, uh, just as a takeaway, understand that the build, connect, and the main phase in the run as well as check and report are the most commonly used and most of the other phases you can refer to based on any specific need and most of them are kind of explanatory based on the phase name. So that's all in this lecture. Thank you.